um, to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, that long going into all the corners and up to your wrists so that you get all areas okay. using soap and water. Wet them <laughs> and then you get soap and then you wash really good up to like uh, up to your wrist for 30 seconds and then you you know, rinse it again really good. Um, you would wash them with soap and water under the tap for probably at least a minute or two and then dry them off. Uh, you're supposed to scrub under your nails, scrub in between your fingers for 30 seconds or 40 seconds. With soap. <laughs> and hot water. Well, it depends. If you're in a public place, right, and you, you know, you got to use paper towel, you like get that mother going so it's got a little bit go. <laughs> and then you turn your water on, you like soap up, you got to get up in all there and stuff. And then, um, you got to use a paper towel to turn it off after you rinse your hands. Yeah, cause use the, the same piece of paper towel to get more if you need it to dry your hands, <laughs> and, and then, then you use that to open, to open the door. The, door. Yeah. the correct way to wash your hands is actually running water and soap for at least 15 or 20 seconds so that the germs are washed down into the sink. If you don't have access to water and soap, then the, uh, the second uh, best uh, method would be uh, using hand sanitizers. Because <laughs> seriously, people with public washrooms, any, any, you know, they have an obligation to provide paper towel and trash cans, like to, to, to help prevent the spread of influenza. This is very important. <laughs>